Your frames are usually prepped from the factory. All shim blocks along the mull are removed, as well as the blocks at the top and bottom that will interfere with mulling later. Establish an exterior plane along the sill for reference. This is especially helpful on wider assemblies. Position the first unit in the opening. Plumb the unit in the opening and then shim and fasten. Set the bottom mull bracket on the sill. The bracket should sit flush with the bottom of the frame. Fit the bottom of the tube steel over the raised end of the sill bracket. Insert the top bracket into the top end of the tube steel. Position the steel tight against the mull filler blocks, then clamp the steel to the frame. Adjust the bracket and frame so that the bracket is square in the opening and the frame is on the desired exterior plane. Pre-drill through the sill bracket and then inject sealant into the screw holes. Fasten with the 3 inch installation screws provided. Lock or shim the top bracket to seat it in the hollow of the tube. Fasten the top bracket with the 3 inch screws provided. Using the pre-drilled installation holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with the number 23 bit. You might have to pre-drill with the 1 8 drill bit first. Fasten the steel to the frame with a number 8 by half inch trilobular screw. Remove the mull filler blocks. Attach the full length mull filler to the frame by inserting the barb leg into the accessory curve. Center the filler on the frame so it is about 3 8 inch from each end. Remove the clamps and set the next unit in the opening. With the tube steel tight against the step in the second unit's frame, clamp along the mull. Use the installation holes as a guide and bore into the steel with a number 23 drill bit. You may have to pre-drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Fasten the second frame to the tube steel using the number 8 by 1 half inch trilobular screws provided. Adjust the second frame until it is on the desired exterior plane and then fasten along the sill of both units. Square and plumb the second frame and then shim and fasten the jam. Complete fastening around the perimeter at all the pre-drilled installation holes. Apply frame kerf weather strip along the sides of the mall with a screen spline roller. Apply three beads of sealant over the mull fillers, one on each side and one in the middle. Apply sealant at the ends of the mull filler.
seat fold blocks in the ceiling. Install the exterior mold cover, seat in place with a rubber mallet.